Hey, Dad, what's up? Yeah, I just arrived at Off Mouse House. I said I just arrived, meaning I'm outside of the house, so I don't exactly know if she's ready to go yet. Dad, it's 10.50 a.m. I told her I was arriving at 11 a.m. on the dot, and that's what I'm going to do. No, Dad, I'm not just going to go in. I'm an adult now, and you can't tell me what to do. What tone? I'm not taking a tone with you, Dad. If anything, you're taking a tone with me. I'm going to tell Mom you called her sassy. <laughs> I won't tell her. But really, you're being a sassy dad right now, Dad. If anything, Aaron and I get it from you. So who's to blame now, huh? No, my ears and tail aren't out. This attitude is all natural. <laughs> all right, Dad. We can change the conversation. Okay. Just to give you a rundown of what I've done, first I filled the car with Off Mouse's favorite snacks, Reese's, Bugles, Sour Worms, and some bananas, just in case she wants to be healthy, you know? <laughs> I put Poopsie in the car just like Aaron asked for. Oh, and he gave me his blanket for her, which personally I thought was really sweet since it has his scent. I don't know if she'll take to werewolf traditions, Dad. But even Aaron has had a hard time with taking to them as well, so they'll learn together. Besides, the scent thing shows that at least he's interested in trying new traditions. Anyway, I'm all ready to make Off Mouse trip to the airport for Starlight. Absolutely perfect. I'm so excited, I... <gasps> Dad, it's 10.59. I have to get going. Oh, I'm sure she's ready. She's been packing since last week. She's probably raring to go. <laughs> Gotta go. See you in a day. Hello! Off now. Melissa! You're here! I, uh... Of course I'm here. I said I would be here at 11 o'clock on the dot. <laughs> Are you all packed and ready to go to the airport for your fantabulous trip to Starlight? Uh, um... Just like I thought, you're all packed! Uh... no Hmm? Um, I'm not packed. I still have a little bit of packing to do, and I, uh, don't know if I'll get it done in time! <laughs> don't worry about it. I can help you pack if you'd like. I'm really good at keeping things organized. Thanks, but I'm nowhere near close to done packing. Aw, come on. How bad can it be? Oh. My. Irene! Well, I started packing a week ago. Yeah, I remember that. You called me and told me you were getting an early start. How is your suitcase empty? Well, that's the thing. You see... <laughs> I'm all packed and ready to go. Are you? What do you mean? Well, think about it. You're going to be seeing Aaron for the first time in a year. What are you going to wear? This. Really? Yeah, why not? This is a special moment. He's seen you in everything you've packed. No, he 
hasn't. Yes, he has. Okay, then, what about... This! Seen it! This? Seen it! This? Seen it! This! Seen it! Sheesh, it's like you have nothing new! At this point, you might as well see him naked! I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Shut up! Look, girl, I love you, but your style is lacking. You have no sense of style or anything new to impress him. Well, then I'll mix and match new outfits. I'll find the perfect ones to wear. And here I am now. <laughs> Aaron told me something like this might happen. Huh? I didn't want to believe him, but he said you have a habit of getting ready at the last second. This always happens! Which is why you and I are going out to get you a few new outfits right now. Huh? Right now? But we'll be late to Starlight! Since when is there a time limit? <laughs> My dad made sure it's his private plane, so we have plenty of time to do whatever before we leave. You are right. This is a very special occasion, and if you want to look nice, you should. Besides, I ain't got time to look through all these clothes and come up with something new. Let's just get new clothes. On me, okay? <laughs> Melissa, I couldn't. I... Think of it as my gift to you, for the stress I've caused both you and Aaron in the past. <laughs> but Melissa, we're way past that now. We're closer. We are. And this won't make up for the past, but I want to do this for you, so please. <laughs> Alright then, I can accept. Perfect! We're going to get you a whole new wardrobe! Ooh, but if you wanted to pay me back for this, then... You could always wear this with your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> You obviously were thinking about bringing them. Why else would you have them out? Get them to me! <laughs> you gotta jump for them, shorty. Uh, Melissa! <laughs> Off now, are you done? No, I'm still trying on outfits. Oh, good. Well, here. I went to go fetch you some more outfits. Yeah! Melissa, this is way too many clothes. Perfect. That gives you a lot to try on. Melissa, at this rate, I'll be here for hours trying these on. Hmm, that's not good. We need to speed up the process. Melissa, that's a waste of money. Nah, girl. We just buy them and bring them back if we don't like them. We don't got time to try on anything, so let's speed it up. I'll go buy outfits I think you look cute in. Melissa! Ah. <sighs> Melissa, we've been shopping for hours. Can we take a break? Yeah, we absolutely can. But after that, there's one more place we gotta hit up and then we can head to the airport. R really? Yep. Then hurry, let's eat! <laughs> That's the spirit! So, are you excited to see Aaron? Yes! More than you know! I've been waiting one whole year! <laughs> so you must be pretty upset we came to the mall today. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> You've waited this long. A few more hours isn't going to make a difference. Besides, you're going to look fabulous before you see him. So this was totally worth it and needed. Yeah, I'm just upset I wasn't able to do it sooner. I was supposed to go shopping with Zane, Kawaii-chan, and Lucinda, but they had their big camping trip this week. You didn't go with them? No way! This is the week I get to see Aaron! After a year! I would not miss this for the entire world! <laughs> well, maybe some other time with your friends. For now, tell me, girl, what are you looking forward to doing when you see Aaron? I can't even imagine what it must be like. You haven't seen him in a year. 
You've waited a whole year for this moment. It must have been hard. It was. The hardest part really was letting him go. Sweetheart, it's time for you to go. Just a little longer, please. It's been more than an hour, sweetie. The doctors need to come back in to take care of him. Oh, right. That's more important. We will take care of him. My husband is going to honor his word. You will be able to see him in one year. For now. The longer you stay here, the harder it will be to leave. Right. I'll go. Just one last time. My mom told me about that. Yeah. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. I had to wait for him in high school, but at least then I was able to speak with him. I haven't had contact with Aaron in one whole year. You can ask me anything about him if it makes you feel better. No, I don't want to know from anyone else. I want to ask Aaron himself. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, I'm happy my little brother found someone like you to love. Huh? Aaron and I had a very hard time growing up. Not only were we keeping a part of ourselves hidden from the world, we were raised in a very strict environment, especially Aaron. I know. I remember him not being allowed to do a lot of things. I'm just happy that in his life, he found someone who wants to be with him. And that makes me happy for both you and him. So, if I come off as pushy or anything, I'm sorry. I just want you two to be happy. Th Thank you, Melissa. You're absolutely welcome, sis. <laughs> I mean, off now! <laughs> now come on, let's get going to the last store. Then we'll go home, get you dressed up, and then head out to the airport. Okay. <laughs> so, what's the last store? Melissa! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you look gorgeous! <laughs> Thank you! Ready to go? Yep! I'm ready to go to Starlight. I'm ready to see Aaron.